Hey guys, we're gonna uh, take seven parts of a video and splice them all together on YouTube's program. You can buy a program to do this, but there's almost no sense in doing that nowadays when YouTube gives it all to you for free. So go to your video manager and of course you're going to see your videos listed and the next thing you want to do is find the word create the title create and slip click on create it's right down here in this list of titles click create and the first thing for some reason they show you is your auto library and this is this is clips of music that you can uh, use legally for free that YouTube gives you. But we're not going to mess with any of that right now. Go down to uh, video, video editor. It's right below create. Click on that. Now up here you'll see project and they give you they give you a title for your project called my edited video but we're gonna click we're gonna click on project and you'll see the last videos that you made and click on new project and it's gonna ask you to create a new project you're gonna click OK and that's gonna give you a fresh start here and at this point you can title this instead of leaving my edited video so we'll title it this is auto repair um, so what we're going to title it flushing cooling system <clears throat> and find the first video in your series of videos find the video that you want to start with and you're going to click on it and you're going to drag it down to right there and you're going to drop it you're going to drop it right there now you see it breaks your video down into pieces and at this point you can edit the video but again we're not going to mess with any of that right now you can also uh, brighten it or darken it. You can you can put pieces in slow motion. There's all kinds of stuff you can do here. But uh, forget about all that right now. We're just sticking with the basics. Go back and click on the video editor. And you'll see again it will load all the video clips. Find part two is on mine right there and you're going to drag it down and drop it right into there right next to it and it automatically starts playing clip two so just pause that for a minute so it doesn't so you can scroll all the way over to the right and we're going to put part three right here we're just going to drag it and drop it right next to part two and if you mouse over these you can see the title right there you'll see flushing the cooling system 2 and we're going to find flushing the cooling system 3 which should be this one right here and again we have to pause it and scroll over and drop it right here Make sure you did the right one just by scrolling over and looking at the title. Now we're going to put part 4 right here. You don't have to go back and click on video editor. You can click on this X right here because we're not editing any video clip. And pause it. Scroll over. And drop number 4 right there which is this one. Pause it, or wait a minute, go back to the list of videos, pause it, scroll over, all the way over, drop four right there, wait a minute, 
that was for, so we missed one. Which is actually a good thing, because now I can show you. There's one. There's two. There's three. And there's four. So we already did four. Um, and here's five right here. The same thing, drag and drop it. Go back. Pause this. Scroll all the way over. Find number six. Drop it. Back to video editor, pause it, and here's the last part of this master video. And do the same thing, of course. And there's all the parts of the video. Now we are going to get a little bit fancy and at least title of the video. We're going to put transitions in between all the video clips so there's not this abrupt stop and start uh, which tends to confuse people um, go back to video editor and you see this stuff right up here this one right here this thing that kind of looks like a bow tie that's your transitions and we're going to drop a transition transition uh, between each clip and I guess at the start of the clip yeah. so click on that and here's all the transitions you can use there's all kinds of like swipe and this and that and, and then you can even edit the transitions um, I like to use color fade for my videos I don't know why but I do so just again drag the transition down to where you want to put it this one's going at the start of the video and you can make the transition as long as you want um, just by clicking to the right side of it and you'll see the seconds move down here and just put it for just open it up for as long as you want it we're going to make it five seconds and that's the transition right there because you see how it kind of fades into the video um, but we're not done with this we're going to make it a color in my auto maintenance videos the transitions are always blue so we're going to find blue and click that and now you see how that kind of fades from dark blue to light blue to the video pretty cool huh Alright, back into it, go find the color fade, and we're going to drop another one in here between 1 and 2. Which is, just by mousing over, you can see where the videos break right here. Pull it down, drop it right there, and again, make it as long as you want to make it. This one again is going to be 5 seconds, we're going to pull it apart until it hits 5.0. There it is, we're going to change the color to blue. And let's go see what that looks like. Might take a minute. There it is. So, pause it find between the two and three there's three there's two so the transition gets dropped right between those two pretty basic stuff at the end result should be pretty cool It's a little monotonous because you're doing pretty much the same thing over and over. There's a line between three and four. Very 
it down and wrap it right there. Three over and over. But that's what gets it through your head. to go back to the start. Uh, again, I'm not an expert on this. And that's why I'm just showing you the basics. Later on, we can get into all the fancy stuff. See how it always wants to go back to the start? I, don't, I really don't know how to stop that, but... It ain't no big deal to scroll back up to where we're working on. I was telling me I have an internal error, so let's go see what it's saying. We encountered a problem, changes could not be saved. Well, let's ignore that for now, and I don't really think it's any big deal, but they might not save this last drag and drop between 5 and 6, so let's delete that one. And do that again between 5 and 6. There's 4 and 5. And here's where it goes. Let's see if they give us a, a another fault here. changes saved and now the only thing I want to do is put an ending to the video and an opening for the title so when you're writing text you just click on that letter A right there and pick which font you want to use and we're going with centered text so again you're just dragging it down to where you want it and you're going to make it as long as you want it. Again, it's giving me a fault. I guess it wanted me to open it up to longer. We don't want 15 seconds. That's what that's saying. And we only want the title to go for about 7 seconds maybe. Make it exactly seven seconds. Now, so you see how it says enter text there. And here's where you do that to the right of this. And here's where you can pick the fonts and everything. We're not gonna, we're not gonna change the font. I kind of like that font right there. And we're just gonna put the title of the video flushing the cooling system. I spelled calling wrong. 
And you see how it cut out the beginning and end of the text? And all you have to do is break that into parts by clicking before any word and making it like that. Now you can, I will bold it. Okay, made a monkey again, almost. And now the color of the background always goes dark blue. And you see that. So, I'm not sure you can use a transition after this. I think I did once, but it appears to not want me to do it again. And there you go. That's the start of the video. Alright, guys. Uh, now we're just going to do one last thing and put an ending, which is always, you know, you can just write, edit, or uh, subscribe to my page. And again, click on uh, the letter A and whatever kind of text, whatever, wherever you want it. We're just using centered text. And let's put, uh, thanks for watching. No, it's not saving that. There you go. Good deal. Let's, let's capitalize the W and watch. Watch. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, make one more line for daily updates. Uh, and save it. Uh-oh. You didn't give me a fuck. But it did say it. And of course, we can change the background color to that. Again, the dark blue. Why is it always sending me back? I don't know. Um, we're going to try to put a transition at the beginning and end of this, but it might not let me. It doesn't like when you do that. Um, I don't know why. This is only two seconds long, so we need, we need to make this longer. The other one was seven, so let's stretch this out to seven. <coughs> and then color fade. And the color's gonna be blue. It's a little bit lighter blue I like to use there. And stretch that out to five if it lets you. Oh, changes saved, so it seemed to work. But before the thanks for watching at the end, we're going to try to put another transition in front of that. So we get, I'll show you the effect we get. When we get there, let's color fade. Drop it before it. Letting me get that far. The color's going to be light blue. That's not quite long enough. Stretch it out to five if it lets you. See how it says we encountered a problem? Changes could not be saved. And I think it's because. I made that transition a little too big and we're all the way down 
to three seconds. Still not going to let me do it. Nope. Alright, let's try it again. Let's just delete this. And try that again and again. It might not let me do this at all. Let's me drag and drop it, but not make it bigger. So let's just leave it at that. And let's go check it out and see what we got here. This is the end of the video. And boom, that's over. Alright, the only thing you have left to do is click Create Video. You might want to go back over everything and make sure you put a transition between each one of these. Oh, there's none there. What happened here? We skipped one. And this is why it always pays to double check. We forgot a transition. Let's go up to Color Fade. And drop one in. Make it blue. Pause it and go find it. And I'm going to stretch it out and make it bigger. That wasn't it. Here it is right there. Five seconds is what we're using. Hopefully it lets us. And it did let us, and now create a video. And this is going to be the title of your video. Ah, uh, make sure <laughs> everything's spelled right. I spelled cooling wrong. Fix that. And we should have the word uh, flushing the cooling system. And this pretty much goes for all cars, so we don't have to. We don't have to say flushing the cooling system for a 67 Ford Mustang or whatever car it is because it's all pretty much the same. And everything looks good. Let's save it. Create video. And this is going to take some time. <coughs> We're processing this video. Sit tight. Check back later. <coughs> and you don't have to keep this page open until they're done. This one's probably going to take them probably 20 minutes to a half hour to actually master the whole video. And that's it, folks. Um, that's pretty much it. You, you don't have to stay here. You can get out of the whole, the entire YouTube website. And just uh, take a break and go on back to porn or whatever you're surfing for. And, uh, peace, man. Have a good day. Bye.